double integral over general region. Let's take a look at the following example. This example says, evaluate, evaluate the volume. Now it specifically asks you to find the volume. The volume of the solid that lies under the paraboloid, which is given to us as z equals to x squared plus y squared and above the region d in the xy plane bounded by the line y equals to 2x and the parabola y equals to x squared. Very good. So, so far we have the ceiling. We know the top surface. This is the equation of your top surface, which is your paraboloid. We are interested in knowing what is the base. Well, to find the base, we need to find the values for x. So we need x values. Find x. To find x, set these two equal to each other. You get x squared equals to 2x or x squared minus 2x is equal to zero. If you factor out x, just pure algebra, x is zero, x is two. So it seems like our x is bounded between zero and two, and your y is bounded between a line and a parabola. But to make sure you have a correct lower bound and upper bound, graph it. What's the graph like? So you have a line 2x and you have your parabola x squared. Your parabola x squared is going to be right here. Y equals to x squared. And your line y equals to 2x, just going to pass through here. y equals to 2x. So this is your base. Your base is just this portion bounded between y equals to x squared and line y equals to 2x. This is your base. So your x is bounded between 0 and 2. And y from below is bounded by x squared. From above is bounded by 2x. The minimum values are on x squared. The maximum values are on 2x. Very good. So let us set up a double integral to find this volume. In this case, this volume v is equal to the double integral of the ceiling x squared plus y squared dA. Since our x values are fixed values, we're going to use them as the outer integral. So you have the integral 0 to 2 dx and the inner integral, which is your lower bound is x squared and your upper bound is 2x of x squared plus 2 x squared plus y squared dy. So let's calculate this inner integral, then the outer integral. 0 to 2. Here we go. With respect to y, you have x squared y plus y cubed divided by 3. And your y is starting from x squared, and it stops at 2x. Then after Simplifying, take the integral with respect to x. Here we get integral 0 to 2. Let's substitute these. We have 2x cubed plus 8x cubed divided by 3 minus, now substitute x squared 
we get x to the fourth plus x to the sixth divided by three. And then taking the integral with respect to x. Very good. So this guy is equal to, let's try to simplify this a little bit if we can. Integral zero to two. Fourteen x cubed divided by three minus x to the fourth minus x to the six divided by three and then the x. This guy becomes well. Here we go. Here you have fourteen x to the fourth divided by three times four minus x to the fifth divided by five minus x to the seventh divided by three times seven. And x is bounded between zero to two. Since all of these have zero, just forget about zero, just plug in two. So you get 14 times 16 divided by three times four minus 32 divided by five minus, here you have 32, times four divided by three times seven. Very good. So let's see what do we have. I simplified this guy. Fifty six over three minus thirty two over five, and here what we can simplify. We have twenty one and one twenty eight. So let's see if we take the common denominator. Here you have three times seven times five. It's a lot of calculation. Okay, guys, take your time and calculate this. What is this number? Okay, after simplification and trusting students' response, 216 divided by 35 is the volume of the solid that bounded under the par uh, paraboloid x squared plus y squared and above this region, this is your base. 